Hi guys and welcome to Radwolven Bushcraft. Have you ever wondered how to obtain nutrients and calories in winter? Do you want to learn something about foraging maybe? If so, then join me in a little adventure because today I'm going to go out to try to collect edibles in December and make a little survival stew. Let's go! Many people think that in winter it's really hard to find survival food. But actually, if you know where to look, it becomes rather easy. This is going to be our first ingredient. Those are spruce needles. Very rich in vitamin C, great for a tea or as a spice if you would like. There is a very simple trick on how to identify whether we are dealing with spruce needles here. You just take a couple of needles and you rub them in between your fingers. If you then smell the needles, they should have a citric aroma to it. Basically the smell of limes, lemons, maybe oranges, something in that direction. Those clearly smell like that, so those are good to go for our stew. I found the first fungus. But unfortunately, I have no clue which type of fungus this is. If you know the fungus, please leave a comment and let me know. Okay guys, let me show you something. I've just found this spot right here. And as you can see, there is garbage everywhere. It's just insane, look at this. Even if you take a look right over here, there is even more. Really guys, if you go out into the woods, make sure you're always going to clean up your mess and pay a little respect to Mother Earth. Because we just have this one Mother Earth and we're all depending on it. So let's pay a little respect to nature, alright? But then on the other hand, I found something right here that we can use for our stew. In case you can't see, let me go closer. Rose hips, right here, and beautiful ones too, in the middle of December. I'm going to take these. If we take a look over here, there are a couple of cattails. Those plants would make a great source of nutrition because their roots are kind of like a potato and you could dig it out of the waters, you could skin them and then once you peeled off the skin you can put them into water to boil them. They are a great source of carbohydrates, great source of starch, 
so they would make a great emergency food. Unfortunately though, I cannot harvest those and eat them because this swamp area where I am at right now is right next to an agricultural plain and I know that the farmers here are using a lot of chemical fertilizers and insecticides so unfortunately that water here is contaminated next to that as far as we found a lot of garbage right over there in the forest there is also a lot of heavy metal contamination in the waters so as far as this is not a real survival situation I'm going to skip those plants over there if it would be a survival situation though you could dig out the roots and eat them because it's better to be alive than to be dead of course one more word about the cattail and the contamination I do not want to blame agriculture for being evil because in modern times we kind of like depend on it but the problem we face with agriculture is that it's using too many chemicals too many machines and due to fertilizers insecticides maybe also machine failures like oil leakage and such our grounds and the earth is contaminated and if you then would dig out a cattail like this who has been sucking up all of these contaminants throughout the months and years you're actually better off not eating that yeah. maybe this is some inspiration to farmers out there to change their ways to a little more eco-sustainable lifestyle and a more eco-sustainable way of working we all would benefit from that I thought I might be lucky because here we got a blackberry bush but as you can see all the blackberries are already spoiled that's nature huh nothing much we can do about that but what we can do is pick those leaves and put them into the stew because they also contain chlorophyll, a bit of vitamins and they give a little spice to our stew. You have to be careful though because if you look, I don't know if you can see this right here, they have thorns everywhere. This is why I'm wearing gloves. Don't know if you can see right here thorns everywhere but good for our stew So I am currently in a forest in which we can find a lot of birch trees. So I'm trying to find the birch polypore, an edible fungus. looks like there's one right over there oh yeah 
that is birch polypore. If you can see right here, it has a, like a little hunchback and very tiny pores. Maybe it's possible to capture that. These ones are medicinal fungi and they can also be eaten. Those are the leaves of wild strawberries. Unfortunately, at this time of the year, they don't have any fruits, but we can pick the leaves and use them for our stew. I'm always making sure that I leave a couple of them so the plants can regrow. And this fella right here is the reason why you should always know your plants that you're gathering. This tree down there is called yew. And it's a very, very toxic plant. Sometimes outdoor sporters or hikers confuse this tree with a spruce or a pine. But the crazy thing about it is one or two twigs like that in a tea are enough to kill a human being. So learn about your plants. Don't gather this one. It's highly toxic. This is what we could gather today for our survival stew, if you would like to call it like that. Birch polypore, couple of berries and rose hips, strawberry leaves, blackberry leaves, spruce twigs. I think this will make a nice Christmas dinner, right? Enjoy!
Mm -hmm. So, the rose hip and the raspberries just taste like that. That's nothing special. Spruce needles really give a nice taste to the stew. But I have to be quite honest, the fungus, not my thing. It is tasteless, it's basically neutral in taste, so that's not the big of a deal. But the consistency is the consistency of a car tire, I would say. Can get you through, but it's not the stuff you would know from your favorite restaurant or from proper home kitchen. But that wasn't the lesson for today, right? Okay guys, I'm going to wrap it up from here. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice Christmas and see you in the next video. Ciao.